The Tammy Taylor Mrs. South Africa Grand Finale is brought to you by Renewal Institute, Batsumi Travel, Brentoni Eyewear, Caribbean Tan, Catrice Cosmetics, Essence, Contempo, Curves, Gerald Wells Hair Professionals, Grand Rush, Nomination, SABC3, Suzuki, System Professional, Tammy Taylor Nails, Tanda Incorporated, The Brow Bar, Weller Professionals, Lamel, and hosted by the Palace of Dreams, Emperor's Palace. Who will wear the crown? Amore Maya by Anda Gumede Bella Edwards Candace Robertson Kathleen Prinsluer Chantelle Blichnote Esme Boyens Burn Gila LaRue Colofelo Toluani, Lerato Moyo, Manquane in Cabela, Matsi Menu, Megan Nell, Merlin Norman, Michelle Becker, Mpon Tontela. Nicole Kappa, Portia Radebe, Pranita Reddy, Rivana Govinda, Rifilwe Mohale, Rona Erasmus, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your two exceptional hosts for this evening, Joanne Strauss and Luis Obala. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Tammy Taylor Mrs. South Africa. We've been on this incredible journey with our 22 finalists for the past couple of months, and tonight that all culminates in just one winner. Now the time has come for us to meet our judges who have the most challenging job. Actually, I thought mine was going to be difficult. Our first judge is a socialite, a public speaker, motivator and founder of the first franchised brow bar in South Africa. She's known as South Africa's very own celebrity brow specialist and she is an incredible woman. Please welcome Uneza Suleiman. Now he is the CEO of Tammy Taylor Nails Africa, Australia and the Middle East. He has a law degree from the University of Pretoria and he is the founding member of Finborn Mutual Bank. Please help me welcome Piet Fulieu. A big welcome to former Miss South Africa, now a mother, a qualified corporate coach, an international TEDx speaker, the gorgeous, effervescent Tuli Sitale. He's a corporate and government affairs consultant. He's an entrepreneur and former chief corporate affairs executive at Empress Palace. Please put your hands together for Vusi Zwane. 
our principal judge. Now, she's a former Miss Universe runner-up, television presenter, and a celebrated businesswoman all round. She is the incredible Cindy Nell Roberts. Now, after a short commercial break, we will splash into that awesome, happy summer feeling and present to you our stunning Tammy Taylor, Mrs. SA finalist in their traditional swimmer category, brought to you by Caribbean Tan. We will be back after this commercial break. Welcome back to Tammy Taylor, Mrs. South Africa Grand Finale 2017.
this. Amongst our 22 finalists, the majority of them are moms, which means we actually have calculated almost 50 children that these women are the moms of. So that is some serious determination, health and exquisite physique. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Absolutely, Joanne. And clearly with Caribbean tan, everyone can be bright, can be a bright and beautiful goddess. I should try some of that myself. After this commercial break. Welcome back to Tammy Taylor, Mr. South Africa Grand Finale 2017.
Oh, God, sorry. Wait, why can't you remember? Sorry about that. No, Jim, no. That's it. All right. Thank you, thank you. That was begging me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. She had more till it's like. Nice. It's a bit of more. <laughs> hashtag is a busy street. Hashtag. Hashtag. Hashtag is a busy street. Ah! Here we go. Here we go. Let me just read it quickly. You know what? Like I read it and then you say it and something else comes out, you know? <laughs> the vote for me is your SABC. Okay. Uh, I've been married to him. I've been married to Brian Capitola. Oh, Brian Cox. Oh, my goodness, why? Goodness. And cut. <laughs> Sorry, I was on a roll and I've lost the roll. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's a lot. I'm always finished with this page. Okay. <laughs> Marlene said practice. When Marlene says something, you do it. <laughs> Bad. This one. Shucks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. Oh, sorry. Did I not see the number? Sorry, guys. Sorry. 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 <laughs> I can't remember the other part. Sorry. I can use this. Oh. If you're happy, I'm happy. I'm shaking here. <laughs> and, and in my spare time, no. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I, I did it <laughs> wasn't my fault. So close. I want to do it in one shot. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm doing that again. I've been in the Why can't I get it? Sorry. And <laughs> No no I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I cannot wait to show off these beautiful, beautiful queens, and they're just about ready to come on stage. Well, here are our finalists in The Finest Designer by Orapileng Madute.
back after this commercial break. Welcome back to Tammy Taylor, Mrs. South Africa Grand Finale 2017. 22 finalists, however, will sh very shortly become 10. And I think that means we're going to have to sadly bid farewell to 12 of these formidable women. Let's give all of them a huge round of applause. Goddesses in their own right. But before we announce our top 10 finalists, we'll first present four category awards. Since the announcement of our 22 finalists, each finalist was tasked with acquiring SMS votes and their voting cards were advertised on SABC3. This is the moment that our voting viewers have been waiting for. Our SABC3 viewers' choice is... Candice Robertson! Our Mrs. Photogenic is... Bella Edwards. Now moving on to the Caribbean Tan Body Beautiful Award. Now this one goes to the fittest lady up here and one who definitely rocks the swimwear shoot. And so the winner is... Who's the winner, Jerry? Rona Erasmus. assist us in bestowing the next award, I'd like to call on to stage Munich Marais from the Cancer Association of South Africa and Claire Gardner, the reigning Mrs. Charity. Tammy Taylor, Mrs. South Africa, continues to be a dedicated and a very proud supporter of cancer and they've raised just over one million rand for cancer. Let's give them a huge round of applause. The Mrs. Charity Accolade is awarded to the finalist who's recognized by the Cancer Association of South Africa for her outstanding fundraising contribution throughout the year. Mrs. Charity is Candace Robertson. The time has come for us to announce our top 10 finalists. And unfortunately, we're gonna to have to say goodbye to the other finalists. These results are in no particular order. The top 10 in the Tammy Taylor Mrs. South Africa 2017 competition are Poshia Khadebe. Rivana Govinda, Bella Edwards, Sheila LaRue, Mayanda Kumete, Mangoan and Zebela, Nicole Kappa, Rona Erasmus, and the second last spot goes to Pranita Reddy. Megan, now. Luiso, they've all done phenomenally well. A lot of grueling hours of preparation went into this moment. We now have the top 10, but very shortly, I'll be announcing your top five. I have the envelope and we go straight in. Well done, Rivana Gavinder. The third person whose name I'll be calling, Nicole Kappa. Two last positions to be filled. And one of them belongs to Mankoana Lebela. Ladies, you 
have all been incredible. But the final spot belongs to Gila LaRue. Now is the part that many people know is the make or break part of the pageant. This is where we're going to be doing the questions and answers. And we've got our esteemed panel of judges who will be posing a question to each of our finalists. Cindy Nell Roberts, would you please start with the first question? My question is to Rivana. I would like to know from you, we often hear the term female empowerment. What does that term mean to you? Good evening, and thank you for that question. To me, female empowerment means that a woman can take her power back in whichever way she wants to embrace the fem femininity, whether it means she wants to be a stay-at-home mom, whether she wants to climb the corporate ladder, whatever she would like to do. But it's about a woman taking her power back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great question and wonderful answer. Vusi Zwane, do you have a good question? Hey, Megan, congratulations. 23 years after our democracy, I just want to find out from you, do you think that the government has done enough to close the gap in terms of gender equality and, uh, you know, looking after the youth and the vulnerable groups of our society? Do you think that we've closed that gap? Good evening, judges. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, South Africa. Thank you. I don't think we can ever do enough to keep us together. I think at all times, our government, every single one of us in South Africa, need to constantly work harder. Because the moment you stop working, and the moment you think that everything's fine, let's move on, little things, the gaps start coming. So I think, yes, we have worked hard, but let's continue working harder. And we can only help our government to constantly, constantly keep up the game of being amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Tuli Sitole, your turn to pose a question. Thank you, Joanne. Good evening, ladies, and congratulations. Nicole. <laughs> what bothers you most about what is happening in the country today? Thank you, Tuli, for the question. There are many things that have bothered me this year, especially, but what bothers me the most is that we can work harder to create unity amongst us and that the less judgment we have for one another when these issues arrive, the better we will be moving forward. Thank you. There we go. Piet for Yun, your chance to pose a question. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and congratulations to all the Tammy Taylor, Mrs. South Africa, top five. M my question is to you, Jella. In today's society, what in your definition, what is your definition of being successful? Good evening, judges. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Piet, for this question. To be a successful woman is to walk into your destiny and into your purpose. It's knowing and getting that feeling that this path was meant for you and following that voice that says, this is it, and conquering anything that can come upon your path to destroy you and saying, I am a goddess, I am successful. Thank you.
I can actually see how the judges are contemplating and going over the answers and scoring fast and furiously. Our final question is coming from Uneza Suleiman. Please do ask. Good evening, Wangkwana. My question is, on average, 110 women are sexually abused daily. How would you implement possible solutions in order to protect, to protect your fellow females? Good evening, judges. Good evening, and thank you for the question. I think oftentimes with the issues of domestic violence, we focus on the victims and we need to start reconditioning minds to those potential perpetrators, which are often the males. When we, when we empower women, we should never forget to empower the boy child because we need to teach him that an empowered woman is strong, but does not mean that when she has a voice, she's disrespectful. We need to tell him that he can coexist in peace and respect the, that empowered woman because we need to, as a mother, uh, make sure that these boys are brought up with the right foundations and these social ills Ill we see will definitely diminish. Thank you. Well, there you go. There you go. Phenomenal women, opinionated and very, very strong able to stand up and speak their minds. Let's give them a collective round of applause, our top five. A big thank you also to our judges. Now, the winner of the Tammy Taylor Mrs. South Africa stands to win a fabulous array of prizes. She will also be representing our country at the Mrs. World Pageant, which will be held right here at Emperor's Palace on the 16th of December. So that is something to look forward to. We're also excited that South Africa has been awarded the exclusive rights to host this prestigious event. So lots of exciting things happening in December in Josie, it seems. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's now time for us to have a look at the prize package and see just what one of these incredibly lucky and hardworking ladies will be walking away with. Tammy Taylor, Mrs. South Africa and her princesses will walk away with prizes to the value of over 1 million rand, including products and services from the Renewal Institute, Batsumi Travel, Brentoni Eyewear, Brand New, Catrice Cosmetics and Essence, Caribbean Tan, Contempo, Curves, Gerald Wells Hair Professionals with their Splash Stores, System Professional and Weller Professionals, Nomination Jewelry. The lucky lady crowned tonight will drive away in a brand new Suzuki. Tammy Taylor Nails, The Think Clinic, The Brow Bar, Lamel Research Laboratories, Emperor's Palace, The Grand Roche Hotel, Trendy Toast. Tammy Taylor, Mrs. South Africa, is proud to be holding hands with Impact as they promote a greener South Africa for our children. Tammy Taylor, Mrs. South Africa, will be representing our country internationally at Mrs. World, all expenses paid. And finally, Tammy Taylor, Mrs. South Africa, PTY Limited, would also like to thank the following loyal sponsors for their support and contribution towards the prize package and journey. Dietliffs, Hooters. JB Team, Le Moonclough, at myfingertips.org, Regal Rose, Vintage Orchid, Vashbank, with the official broadcast sponsor, SABC3. We will be back after this commercial break. Welcome back to Tammy Taylor, Mrs. South Africa Grand Finale 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, the ever graceful, a mom of three, our reigning queen. Please welcome Sengiwe Twala. Perhaps this is the moment for which you have been created, says the book of Esther. On the 22nd of October, 2016, a special night, I was elevated to heights I never thought were possible. The love and the happiness I saw in my husband and children's eyes, I knew that as a family, we had achieved greatness. 
A week after I was crowned Tammy Taylor in Mrs. South Africa 2017, I had the privilege and the honor to represent my country on an international stage at Mrs. World. I embarked to Seoul, South Korea, with Johnny Johnson and former Mrs. World, Candice Abrams. I beamed with pride and gratitude to have met strong and amazing women from all walks of life. Through my organization, The Love Project, I was able to touch more lives and was able to give back on a larger scale. The Love Project has given children who are less fortunate a bag full of basic necessities that every child should have. Thank you to the different schools and safe heavens for opening your hearts to me. Love and kindness always wins. I traveled the lengths and breadths of South Africa and had the most amazing encounters with exceptional women. We shared our life stories and our hearts connected. This experience has deepened my love and connection with my fellow sisters. All of this could have not been possible without the amazing sponsors. Thank you. Thank you for contributing towards making my year of rain a huge success. Welcome back. The time has come for us to now reveal our new queen. Bright and beautiful, she mirrors virtues such as integrity, character, strength, respect, generosity, empathy, a quick mind, and love. These are the characteristics which reflect in her year of reign, showing that every woman is a goddess and valued and worth admiring. There are three envelopes which contain our top three names. They are now ready to be opened. All women are goddesses and it's up to us to allow them to shine. It's up to them to allow themselves to shine and truly take their rightful places in society. And this is what Mrs. South Africa is all about. It's about celebrating femininity and the strength of women. Are you ready? I have the results in my hands. I have the name of our second princess. So, your Tammy Taylor, Mrs. South Africa, second princess is... Mankoana Ndebela. We are getting even closer. Our Tammy Taylor, Mrs. South Africa, first princess is. Gila LaRue. Your Tammy Taylor, Mrs. South Africa, is.
Nicole Kappa.